on a mission to get my official Brazilian identification so I could open up a bank account here. I've been having a lot of trouble trying to get a bank account in Brazil. This is my second go coming down to Rio de Janeiro. And the last banker told me that I need to go to the federal police to get an identification card. When I went there, the uh, office was closed for a holiday. So I'm back here in Rio de Janeiro to get my damn ID so I could open up my account so I could build my house. Hopefully this goes well. Let me tell you how I got here. I came to Brazil for the first time in 2019 and fell in love with the country. I've since been traveling back and forth and decided that this is a place I want to call home for at least some portion of my life. On this channel, I discuss living globally and how to afford it. It just so happens that this series is on Brazil and is showing how to get acclimated and the sort of things that you're going to have to deal with when moving into a new country. I'm building a summer home here and moving money over is a pain in the ass because the government tries to tax all money movement. Last time I was there, the banker told me that if I go to the federal police, and get an ID card that with that ID card I could go to the bank and open up an account. The bureaucracy in Brazil is insane. Check out what I mean. Okay, so that was a another fail. So essentially they told me that um, in order for me to do this that I would need to obtain permanent residency, like a official residency. And then with that I could get uh, a bank account opened at a traditional bank and the overwhelming response is that I need to just open a bank online because it seems that these old school banks like Itaú don't really have the means to accommodate you know the global citizen and I spoke to one of my buddies Brendan who's actually living here in, in, uh, in Brazil but he's in Sao Paulo and he told me that they now have a uh, a digital nomad visa so maybe I could pursue the digital nomad visa and that could give me kind of residency status or enough status to open a traditional account but I have a feeling that it won't that it will just allow me to stay for longer than 90 days so I really need to figure this out because if you're someone who's interested in relocating down to Brazil and have an account you're gonna need to figure out this residency bit so that you're able to function or you're gonna need to get past the, the whole uh, residency limitations. And it's kind of crazy because I find Brazil to be kind of like a forward leaning sort of country um, from just uh, compared to other South American countries. It seems to, to have a larger economy. Things are moving a little bit better. But uh, at the same time, they have this archaic banking system, which to me seems to hold back any sort of financial progress. You want foreign money coming in as easily as possible to invest in projects here. Why would you make it difficult for someone to do that? After being rejected by every retail bank, I tried an online bank. And at the final step, it asked me to upload my Brazilian ID. If you have any pointers for me, please do me a favor, leave a comment below on how I can open up an account. I tried other services and they too couldn't make it happen. At this point, my options are to get married, have a baby, or buy a $200,000 property in Brazil. Either of those events will trigger my ability to earn residency. It's either that, or I have to figure out some other way to get cash into the country to get my house built. Speaking of my house, check out this video that gives an overview of the vacation house that I'm building in the seaside community of Cabo Frio. Mm -hmm. 